This is a short midweek bonus video. Be sure to watch this Friday's video. It is a very pretty piece of wood. So what do you do when you come home with a truck full of freshly cut English walnut and you want to turn some? Well, I got this wood a little over a year ago. I turned some green and I made a little drawing box for it. I've been asked a number of times if I could show that box and how it works because I have talked about it. Well, yesterday and today, I took some of the bigger logs that I had split in half and I cut some trimmings off of them to get them down to reasonable sizes. Well, I'm going to put those trimmings in my drying box, so I'll show you how I stack them in there and I'll show you how the box works. So let's go ahead and get going. Well, here it is. I've been asked about my cardboard drying box and this is it. And it's nothing more than a cardboard box. I don't even know what the dimensions are. I would say it's probably 18 inches and maybe 8 inches tall. There's a computer fan hot glued here with a hole cut in the cardboard box. That's a piece of 6 inch ducting, flexible. 60 watt light bulb. Put it in there about halfway in and then I stack my wood in there turn the fan on and let it sit for a week or two depending on how wet the wood is. Let me fill it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Well it's about halfway full with some English walnut. Yesterday and today I decided to cut some of the huge pieces that I had. They were cut in half but they were still huge and I cut them down to usable sizes. Well I took the leftovers and I brought them in and I cut these strips on the bandsaw because it is very pretty wood and I could use it for segments. I don't know if I mentioned but there's a hole cut in the corner to let the air out. It needs to circulate. And the other thing is this is not my original design. This is a modified version of what Rick Turns made and I'll put a link in the description for that. Mine looks a lot different than his but that's because I used what I had laying around, but basically it's the same idea. I'll let this dry for a week or two and I'll let you know how it turns out. This is actually what a lot of that wood looked like. It is simply beautiful. This picture was taken at the end of 2020 when I brought the pieces home. The one in the middle wasn't even the biggest. There was two or three others. I decided to chainsaw them down the middle and tuck them away. And just recently I decided to make them smaller and that's why I have these little strips and I think it's really going to work out. After cutting the strips they measured 20% moisture. Two days later they're at 8% but I'll just leave them in the box for a week or two more. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up. If you really liked the video share it around. If you're not subscribed please consider doing so and for all you subscribers Thank you very much. Till the next time, see you later.